This is November 3, Victor Echo Mike from Parks on the Air with your month ending May 2022 Parks on the Air update. Be sure to visit parksontheair.com for information about the program and poda.app for spotting, park information, leaderboards, and more. In Parks on the Air news, we're quickly approaching what is usually the busiest poda weekend of the year, the annual plaque event. Last year, there were about 500 activators that put more than 700 parks on the air. We're hoping that you'll head out to a park also to see if we can hit the 1,000 park mark. Whether you activate or hunt, there are 17 plaques up for grabs to reward your efforts for categories of most contacts overall, voice contacts, CW contacts, digital contacts, rover and chaser, DX by IARU region, and clubs. Check out the plaque section from the menu at pota.app for more details. If you're activating with a club, either for the summer plaque event or at any other time of year, we also recommend checking out the new POTA Guide for Clubs, available from the resources section at POTA.app. This guide is a short must-read for clubs that will help ensure a fun and successful club activation. And now for the monthly stats update. April showers may bring out May flowers, but just as importantly, they also bring out the park activators. We had over 2,000 activators out who did nearly 11,000 activations from 4,255 parks in 30 different DX entities. The same top activators have continued their runs, with N2 NWK taking the top spot for number of activations with 253, and W6ZD grabbing the high count of parks with 123. The top hunters for the month were also repeats, K9 ICP hunted 957 parks, and AD2 CD made 1,769 hunter QSOs. In POTA DX, Spain held the top spot in Region 1 with 167 activations, just ahead of England's 151. Canada and Japan continued to hold their top spots in Regions 2 and 3 respectively. One of our top DX activators this month was a familiar operator to the late shift crowd, who now has a new call sign. VE3JLN, formerly N6NRD, did 87 activations while also rolling over the kilo level at 14 different parks in a single day. JF7RJM took the top spot for number of parks activated, with 40 for the month. By special request this month, we'd also like to share the activity by time of day. If you're a new activator or hunter, you're likely to have the most success between 1500 and 2100 UTC on 20 and 40 meters. And last but not least, let's check in on the progress of the Bailey Sprott Challenge. In 2021, N5HA and W9AV each managed to hunt a park every day, so in 2022, we're following along to see if anyone else can match their feet. As we approach the halfway point in the year, we have three activators who have activated every day of the year, along with one other who may still be in the running pending log uploads. N2 NWK, KE8 PZN, K4 NYM, and KD4 MZM. The pool of hunters is now down to 31. To all of the Bailey Sprott participants, congrats on your success so far, and we look forward to seeing how you do in the second half of the year. This concludes our May 2022 Parks on the Air update. As always, the team at Parks on the Air wishes you safe activations and happy hunting. 73.